everyone, my name's Bottled Top Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. <laughs> I've just had some incredible luck on a live stream. If I open up this, we ran a couple of vaults. The first one, I got Gilded, Rich, Speedy, Lawyer, and Personal Space, and we ran into a mine room. Oh my god. Okay, uh... Wait. Void junk. Well, that just uh, changed things a little bit. Oh, it's one of these mine rooms too. This is interesting. Okay. Oh, the potential here is insane. Oh my god. Guys, thank you so much for the uh, <gasps> echo. Okay. Bobble made the two extra magnets because he knew he was going to get this room because he's a big cheat. <laughs> oh, don't say that. No. It's, it, this is genuine. Okay. Easy done. Easy done. And so as you can see, it, uh, it was pretty decent. It was very decent. We managed to get... So many pog ores. It's actually crazy. So we've got all of those to fortune as well as the echo and a bunch of others and even some echo gems. Now we also managed to get a little bit of star essence and a little bit of the vault diamonds. But that middle one there, we bailed straight away. It was terrible. But all in all, it was really, really worth it. We've got 722 shards and... Uh, not really worth it in that. I'm going to pull two randoms. Let's see how we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, <laughs> that is a very lucky pull. An Echo Pog. <sighs> okay. The reason that's really lucky is because when we get to refined storage and we want to craft ourselves a grid, we're going to need a controller to attach it to and that controller takes an Echo Pog. Also, to make it into a crafting grid, which we'll want to do, that also requires an Echo Pog. An Echo Pog requires a normal pog, a bunch of resources, and eight echo gems. So we, we just saved ourselves so many resources. <laughs> All right, this is, this is a good start. Let me put away some of this stuff and the packs of charm we'll just put somewhere, that'll do. And let's fortune up all of these goodies. I've just done a quick little change into my overworld gear and here we go. We've got a decent supply of materials. There was like three stacks of the Laramar. Ooh, this is good. All right, let's do a little bit of fortuning. <laughs> Not too bad. Not bad at all. I'm just going to use this shulker box to carry the bulk of them. Also not bad. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, this is so good. All right, there is all of our main ones and they actually fit perfectly just into that one shulker box. I don't think any slipped through the cracks. Nice, now for the fun part. Look at all this perfume. That is 28. Not bad. Bomb Ignite. 27. Sparkle Teen. 27 as well. Oh, <laughs> we are getting rich here. This is so many Pog Ores. The Ashium, 13. Iscalium, 23. Gorgonite. Seven? No. Eh. Eh. Fifteen. That's more like it. Apolline. Twenty. Wow. Tubium. 
13. Ooh. 19 from 3. Wow. 2 Funzoid into 11 Funzoid. Very nice. And the big one. 2. <laughs> but, to be fair, since we did pull that beautiful Echo Pog, only getting 2 from that is pretty decent. Let's see what our numbers are like after this. We only had three of those and four of those. Now, our smallest number is the 16 Funzoid. That means we can make 16 Pogs. Yeah, that's a bit better. We're looking quite healthy. So, in this episode, I do need to clean up a bit of this stuff. We are going to roll this gear, and I also want to switch over to this gear. I want to see what our luck is like. See whether we get anything worth uh, grabbing instead out of this, actually. But let's quickly put this stuff away. And it looks like we need to upgrade that already. So, I have a level 2, or a level 1, sorry, upgrade here. Which will allow me to put 2,000 into each one of those. We are now over 300 black opal. And like... 500 of the rest as well. Oh my god, this is great. This is great. Happy boy. <laughs> so, let's uh, let's roll this gear, see whether we get anything that is an improvement upon anything that we have down in here. And we're going to kit ourselves out, get ourselves a little bit upgraded, and maybe run a couple more vaults with the goal of heading towards refined storage. In fact, before we do anything, let's just see how many that can turn into. Six more. Nice. We needed 32 in total. We're on the way. Very nice. All right. Mm, ooh, there we go. Just like that, we've got a much better pair of boots. Three levels compared to no levels, plus way better armor toughness. That's a huge upgrade. Nice. What else have we got? Ooh, another nice chess piece. Even though it is not quite as good, it is a good backup for down the line. And what about these? They were pretty, pretty average. So let's put the stuff that we don't want away in there and roll the rest. All right, rare, but only three armor. Mm, ooh, six on the leggings, not too bad. That may even be better than this, it is. It also has a level, but it has a little bit of extra armor. Damn, that is not too shabby. Nice, uh, yeah, the rest is what it is. Let's do the last little bit of uh, housekeeping. Then I might spend some time cleaning up all of this stuff, moving it around. Maybe we work on uh, getting those guys sorted as well. And once this place is cleared up, we can gear ourselves up with this new set because the old one is starting to get a little bit low and it's not really the most amazing. That's a decent chess piece, but the rest, eh. Not so much. All well, this echo gem can go away as well. Nice, we got 20 now. So, we'll split this into two. Okay, at least we got something <laughs> that we already had. Perfect. And... Let's chuck away most of that stuff, then throw away whatever fits into this as well. And the rest should just be books and some tools. All right, let me clean this mess up. Start to uh, make it a little tidier again. I'll probably clean up all of this as well. We might turn one of these rooms into a bit of a junk room for the time being so that it's out of the way and I know where my junk chests are. And then from there, once we set ourselves up with the refined storage, we can deal with it a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, and also I have five skill points, so... Mm, yeah. Let's take our first level in Treasure Hunter, so we have a permanent plus one to our luck. Nice. All right. Spring cleaning time. I'll be back in a second. Much better. Ah, oh, it feels good to clean this place up a little bit. So, 
I've cleaned up there, I've cleaned up the middle, still have that one over there, but now I've got a little bit of a room over here just for some bits and pieces. And I've organized all of my loot, all of my vault gear into these little chests here. So now, rather than going back in with this gear, which doesn't quite get us a full bar on our armor there. You can see we're one off. It's starting to look a little bit worse for wear and it looks pretty scrappy. So instead we're going to upgrade to our Omega, our new Epic pants, our new Epic boots, our rare pants and our rare helmet. Oh yeah, that kind of works. I like it. Now, 42, they don't actually come from the same line at all, but it feels like they work together really well. So I'm going to go add some enchantments on here. Just going to search for protection, prot. Surely we've got some plain books. There we go. One, two, three. And that one's got both. Search for unbreaking. One, two, three. We need some depth strider. And do we have some aqua? affinity. We don't. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, I've got one right there. Perfect. Uh, books? Books. I should check in here, actually. <laughs> yeah, I've got one. But I'm going to buy a normal one anyway. Can I make it with this? I can. Look at us. But we're going to go one step further. Because we do now have runes. So these runes allow me to change the color of the stuff that I'm wearing. If I use stuff like uh, the black, where is it? I only have one of those, but if I use that, it actually removes the glint. I think I'm going to try out a couple of different things. I might try the gray or the light gray. We've got enough to do the light gray. So let's have a look, see what it will look like. Yeah, it'll give it a shine, but it'll just take away that purple color. I like that. I just need a little bit of levels. All right. A little bit of standing at my uh, my farm later. And grab that. Grab that. And what are we missing? The pants. So now when we pop these on. Yeah. It's not too blinding, but I like it. But like a paladin or a, <laughs> a holy king. Nice. So I am going to put away these guys just so that we have a backup set. Worst case, if something happened and we needed to, we could get that. But now I'm wondering whether we woo tax up a couple of these. One, two, three levels, four, eight, ten. I think we do. I could go through and get it by winning vaults and whatnot, but I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to do it. We did get a lot of ores today, so it's not the worst idea. So all we have to do is grab that and this. And let's see what we get on this set. Hopefully I've got enough levels. First, we'll start with the helmet. Two levels onto this. Ooh, poison immunity is amazing. That means that we don't have to get poison immunity on our vault idol. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy with that. The 1% resistance is not really anything, but poison immunity, huge success. We'll go with the leggings since they only have one level. We just got a little bit more armor toughness. That's fine. It just means that they'll last a little bit longer and continue to provide us with six armor. That's good. One, two, three on the boots. Okay, we got plus three health, which is nice. And just a little bit of extra durability, which is also nice. Now for the big one. Let's see what we can get on this. It already has 3% knockback resistance. Okay. We got an extra layer of armor. Plus 2 reach. And soul bound. Interesting. Very interesting. The cooldown reduction is nice as well. But that reach is really good going to be an interesting one it's going to extend our reach out to 10 which is actually kind of nice in the vaults hmm not too bad not too bad at all so what i think we're going to do is make one more crystal oh not two 
Not two. Not two. Not. There we go. First try. <laughs> and yeah, this is manageable, I believe. Ooh. We're a little low on cobblestone. That should be easy to uh, fix, though. Let's just grab our advanced shulker boxes. We might uh, take this gear off since we're in the overworld. And quite simply, all we have to do is with this mining gadget, we turn off the silk touch feature and we turn off the void junk. And I should be able to pop down here, go up just a little bit so that we're above the level of the deep slate. And with a bit of luck, let me just get up a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go, cobblestone. That's pretty quick. It does mean that we're getting uh, random bits of stuff unsilk touched, which, you know, it's not the worst. But I'll do this for a little second, get myself sorted with some cobblestone, and I think what we're going to do is run a cake vault. We haven't done one in a while. Well, it's dark in here. So I feel like it's time we go back in looking like a king and see what our luck is like. Okay. Just a little bit more of this. Okay. And we just need 19 of that. Beautiful. All right. So with this one, we're going to add afterlife to it just because it's a cake run. And it's very easy to get uh, sort of stuck in the middle, not able to make it to the end, not able to make it back. So we're going to turn this into a cake crystal and then we're going to add afterlife. And I should be able to now get myself set up. We've got, yeah, probably enough durability on that. We can charge up our mining gadget here nice and quickly. God, that's nice. There we go. And I'll get myself set up for a vault. First things first, let's put on our new gear. Oh yes, I like it. <laughs> the white might be a little much, but let's do a cake vault. Okay, let's try that. Put on our magnets, and I think we're good to go. Hopefully this sword lasts us, and then we'll upgrade to our new sword and axe. But for now, I think we're pretty good. Yep, let's get some cake. Crowded, oof, slow is a bit rough. Resilient and fast. Oh no, 22 minutes for the cakes. Oh boy. This could be interesting. It might be a bit of a rush. Because we have 27 cakes and only 22 minutes left. Yeah, this one's going to be a rush through to see whether I can get all of the cakes nice and quickly. We might get some good modifiers for down the line but mostly it's just going to be grabbing some very simple surface loot oh just ignore it <laughs> and we're moving on getting slowed as well oh no you're kidding me tired oh no oh that is really rough it slows down how quickly i can mine but that's satisfying hmm okay then this is not ideal Oof. Okay. Uh, this is definitely going to be a rush because I am not hanging around in a lot of these rooms. Not with tired. Oh, very unlucky. Let's see if we can just make it all the way through then. There's the cake. That was well spotted over there. Hunger as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, rude. That means we're now going to have to be dealing with eating consistently being slow, all that fun stuff. But I will try and get as much star essence as I can. Every time I see one of those gilded chests, I'm gonna go for it. 26 meters. Ooh, echo gem. There's our cake. We got nothing. Just need to make sure I oh, <laughs> keep, uh, keep track of what's going on with my, uh, my loot, and then we should be good. Let's continue. I also do have my uh, ender pearls, so at least we know we can move fairly quick if we still need to. I see the cake over there. Just gonna move past. As you can see, my armor is now level 23, which is good. 
able to take a little bit more damage than usual. Rich. Okay. Interesting. So that does mean that at least if we run across anything that is semi-decent room as far as ores go, we can mine that up. Speaking of, <laughs> something like this. Ooh, a bit of upper line. That's nice. I can definitely feel that this is slower, though. I want... Ooh. I should be, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I still had it set up to grab materials, which I do not want. All right, we will keep that compressed cobblestone and stuff because <laughs> we were a little bit low on the cobblestone. But other than that, now at least we can avoid it picking up everything. But boy, is that slow. There's our cake. And I feel like already our new helmet with the poison resistance is paying off. The amount of times that witch has tried to hurt me with the poison and it's just done nothing is so amazing. Ooh, speedy is good. And that witch being able to do absolutely nothing to me is incredibly satisfying. All right, 14 minutes. I feel like we're not gonna get this run complete, but we'll still try. There's the cake straight away. I'm not even gonna bother looking down below. It would take too much time and I cannot afford time right now. 19 meters from here. It must be up top somewhere. 12 meters, there it is. Difficult, okay, well. We'll do a couple more rooms, but at this stage, it does look like uh, a bit of a failure. Not so much loot-wise, we did manage to get a couple of nice ores, but we definitely didn't manage to make our way through the entire vault. Um, brother, 23 meters. There it is. It was nothing again. 11 and a half minutes and 16 cakes. I don't like my chances, but I'm going to have to make a decision soon whether or not I'm just going to fully commit to it or bail and try again. That's a cake there. Crowded is very rough, considering we already got one. There's the cake over there. Hunger again. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a bit of a loss. I'll go forward and give myself six or seven minutes. If I'm not looking anywhere near, like making it with uh, that long to go, then I think we'll just give up. Easy is nice, but we could push through. <laughs> we could manage it. As long as I'm smart, as long as I don't waste too much time, we do have a lot of people on us now, though. There it is. 17 meters from down there. Okay. Must be down below in a little corner somewhere. There it is. But I don't think we can do it. It's too risky, so let's head on out. Mm, let's maybe just... I'm sure there was a chest. Already got it. Okay. We're on our way. I understand. <laughs> the crowded is a bit rough. We can double check a few of the gilded chests that we missed along the way. All right. Let's just uh, sit here until it gets down to 30 seconds. I'll farm a few shards and we might try again. Okay. <laughs> oh, hungry. These things have been pumping out a little bit of bronze, which is nice. And let's see what we managed to get loot wise. I'm just going to quickly put these away so that we don't throw them into here. In this, we did manage to get a common plus and an echo gem. Not bad. Put those in there. Mm, nothing fancy. Divide this up and we can put that away as well. And let's have a look at our loot. A little bit of bronze, which is nice. We got a decent little supply of these things. But the one I'm really interested in at the moment is my star essence, which we managed to get 21 and 14 diamonds. That's kind of pretty good considering the chaos that it was and what we had to deal with. Getting 14 volt diamonds is very healthy. We're now sitting at that satisfying one, two, three volt diamonds. And we're getting there with the rest of things. What do we get all wise? 
it seems to be a day for ores. Because my goodness, we're getting so many pog ores now. And having this mining gadget to pick them up, oh, incredible. But now what I think we're going to do is retire this. This sword was not really keeping up. So we're going to put that away. And I think we're going to put that away. Because now we can get this. These two are really good. And I think, I think I'm going to put sharpness on the axe. And I'm going to put the smite on the sword. And we'll keep both of them on us. Also, we may as well do this. Five. Oh, nothing. Two. Seven from one. Not bad. Bombing Knight is looking healthy now. So, I'm going to grab all of the stuff. I might go AFK at my gold farm again for a little while. Get some levels. We'll enchant these up and we'll try one more cake fold for the episode. But all in all... I feel like we've upgraded pretty well. We've got upgraded armor. That poison immunity is incredible. And soon we'll have upgraded gear. And it's getting close to a time when we need to make another Paxel. But for now, things are looking pretty good. Let's uh, do a little bit of a grind. Or I will anyway. And then we'll pop back in and try again. I feel like we can do it with a bit of luck. If we just get luckier modifiers, we can do it. We can win a keg vault again. All right. See you in a sec. And with this, I'm actually going to over enchant it. So I'm going to set that up with Unbreaking 4, Sweeping Edge 4, Smite 6, and Knockback 3. That's going to be a pretty decent sword. Now we do have this Omega Axe that is at uh, Sharpness 5 and Unbreaking. There's not really much else we can add to an axe. Other than maybe Fire Aspect? No, Fire Aspect can only go on a sword. And I can't really add knockback or anything like that to this. So it's just going to be plain old Sharpness 5. But that does a lot of damage, 17.3. And eventually we can give that to one of our Eternals. But this sword should do the trick. Now, what we might do is grab a Grey Rune. And we're just going to do that so that... Yeah, I like that. And honestly, I wonder if there is a way to make more. Blank rune with grey dye. Do I have any blanks? I do. So, the reason I do this is because I think the white's a little bit much. And I'd like just normal grey. Do I have any grey dye anywhere? I do. Look at that. So we'll grab some of those. And we might not have enough. Uh, yeah, it costs 15 each. That's all right. We can do a little bit of this. Now we're talking. It's a little bit more subtle. It's nowhere near as bright on the eyes. I like it. Still gives a bit of a shimmer, but we look far more like we're just, oh, that's a close up. Far more like we're just uh, in slightly shiny version of what we have going on here nice all right well all we have to do now is make another crystal which isn't too difficult we have enough of the sand pretty sure i've got a turtle egg i do some glow dust or some glowstone dust and some pumpkins which i don't quite have enough of <laughs> actually that's a lie i definitely have enough pumpkins all right, let's try that again. I really want to win this one. And it'll probably take us to level 55 if we do. Yee. Yeah. This time we get good luck. This time we smash through a cake run. I do have both of these now. If I do find that I'm needing leech, I can switch over and start using that instead. But we'll try out our main sword to start off with. And our gear is looking pretty good. Cool. Let's do it. Luckier, extended, and simple. Okay, that is already so superior. An easy first room. We can grab... Um, hmm. All right, well. <laughs> I spoke a little soon. But we can take this room nice and quickly, grab a few goodies. And getting luckier to start off with is a really nice bonus. Let's see how we go. Ooh. Come here. Perfect. Only 23 cakes this time, and we do have a lot more. 
time as well. In the last one, we just got so unlucky. I see the cake. So unlucky with the modifier making it faster as well as all of the other problems that we had with it. So, fingers crossed, this one's a lot nicer. We're turning left in this vault. 26 meters from the entrance. There it is. Horde. Okay. Horde and luckier is lovely. That means that we have a high chance of getting a decent supply. Come on. And come on. Thank you. A decent supply of star essence as we make our way through this. So I'm happy with that. Our exit is over to the south. I am going to mine this room up because we do have luckier and it has a lot of chests. And then we'll move on and see how we go. All right, south. Having a far higher base damage on this means that it does a lot better job with the smite of taking out these guys. There's a few bits and pieces. Oh, cake. Furious is rough though. That adds 50% uh, damage from mobs in this vault. So I'm not that happy about that one. Our poor armor is going to take a little bit more. But with knockback three, it is kind of easy to uh, to keep them at bay. So I'm not too worried about it. There's the cake. Hmm. Difficult though. <laughs> we can manage it. I'm sure we got this. Easy. Okay. Bringing it back, making it a little bit easier on ourselves. No pun intended. Not really seeing many signs of the horde that we got, but. Uh, I'm sure that will pop up later. Maybe we just haven't had very good rooms for it. There we go. At least I can see some. Nine meters while I was flying. There it is. <laughs> Tucked away in there. Resilient is good. That allows us to take a little bit less durability damage. So nice when we're getting hit a little bit more over this way. Ah. Oh, the lava tried to slow me down a little bit then. Now the horde's coming into play. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's our cake. And another resilient. Okay. That's more like it. Brother. The more poison that I see, the more happy I am for the poison resistance we got on our helmet. This crown is, uh, is amazing. Very, very happy with it. And we're doing pretty decent for time. 18 and a half minutes left and 14 cakes. Nice. As long as we can maintain this pace, I think we've got a good chance. There it is. Crowded. Okay. That's a little bit rough. We now have double crowded, which means that I am going to really struggle dealing with uh, the amount of mobs. It's going to be my biggest problem. We could really use some personal space, but I don't think we're going to be fighting as much anymore. We're going to go for a little bit more of a run and gun style. Where possible, anyway. I do have to remember that I'm no longer oh, regaining health from fighting these guys. So it's not necessarily worth it for me. This extra two reach that we got from this chest plate, though, is delicious. Look at that. We're so far away. I don't see the cake up top, so it looks like it might be a little trip down below. I'm going to jump in here because I know that I have some barrels that I can deposit this junk into. And we've got ourselves a portal. Break, 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 break. Yeah. And was that the cake that I just saw? <laughs> oh, we got lucky as well. Okay. So now, including the uh, treasure hunter that I got, sorry about the noise, I'll lower that in post. Including the treasure hunter, I sh should have plus four to my luck. And I could just quickly check that. Yes, plus four to my luck. That is really nice. That means that every single one of these chests is going to give me an additional four slots of loot. Actually, I might use that one as a dump chest. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And the fact that the uh, the cake was just sitting in there, kind of unreal. All right, shush, shush. I'm not going to loot the rest of it, though, because it'll be far better for me to continue on with my run. 
Is this the way I want to go? I think so. Yes, girl. Oh, I see the cake. Plentiful. Okay. <laughs> not quite what I was after, but I'm not going to complain about it. Does mean that if we manage to get to a spot that has some ores, we've got a few more. I'm far more interested in all these gilded chests, though. Just don't want to spend too much time looting. Plenty more rooms for loot. We've got 11 to go with 13 and a half minutes. Ow. Ooh. That was a little bit close. Maybe we switch over to this. <laughs> Try and get some of that leech going. I see the cake. There was nothing. In theory, because this does so much damage, it should heal me up pretty decently, even though it's only 1%. But it is a little bit more difficult to fight with. So it's kind of a, uh, yeah, a hard one to balance. Especially with this many people around. So I think we'll move on. Ooh, a mega chest. Oh, and uh, I need a new magnet. Okay, let's move on. 26 meters. I think I kind of want to step up the pace a little bit. Uh, make sure that I'm definitely on track to find all of the cakes. Don't know whether it's up top, but I'll do a quick check just to make sure. And then we can head on down and try our luck. 21 meters. 16. I feel like it's back over that way. 11 meters. Hmm. 34. Okay, we're going the wrong way. Over this way. Five? Come on. Work with me here. There we go. Trapped. Oh no. Well, it looks like that is the end of our fairly clean run. Put that away in there. Instead, we're now going for speed. Now, I believe that's the direction I came from. So, moving on. Now, yeah, please. I'm now going to focus only on the gilded chests and getting myself that. Ooh, luckier is good. Because these guys are now getting a little bit too much for me. Uh, I do want to try and find a chest, though, to deposit all of this junk in. Can I reach one? Like this. Nice. Phew. Eight cakes in seven minutes. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. There's the cake. <laughs> a little bit of a slip there. Difficult, really? Now you're just being mean. But I'm in it now. I don't think I'd be able to make it back comfortably. So we have to make it forward. Oh, we do have trapped now. 17 meters. <sighs> Oof. Four meters from here is good. But being trapped in here, not so much. Oh my. I think I'm going to die here. I did indeed. <laughs> That's why we do Afterlife, folks. It got a little bit much at the end there. Too much of the difficult and everything like that, but damn, that was a lot of loot to lose. Ah, well. At the end of the day, we've made some progress still. We got a bunch of ores to start us off. Ooh. Hmm. I am going to have to throw that stuff out. I did lose my uh, my black one, but because your backpack does not reset when you uh, have afterlife, I am going to put that there, grab this, show that there is nothing in those, and I'm not going to cut here. We take the L. <laughs> All right, folks, I think with that, I'm going to leave it here. Not the most successful ending, but at the end of the day, we do have a bunch more of these ores. We've got ourselves an echo pog. I can take these and turn them into a couple more of those. Only nine more to go. So nine times nine is 81 minus six, 75 star essence to go. And in the next episode, I think we're going to make a rush for getting ourselves refined storage.
we're nearly there. Four knowledge stars, including the one that I've already got a knowledge point in, will get us the refined storage. And we're looking pretty cool. I would like something with a little bit more leech, though. We'll see how we go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a bit all over the place. It was a little bit of a maintenance, a little bit of a uh, trying certain things, but not a lot of success. I think it worked out okay anyway. So I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You guys rock. And uh, everyone who's watching, I hope you are enjoying the series still. The next episode should come out pretty quick. We'll do some more runs. If you do want to catch the full VOD of me running that vault and finding the mine room, it is on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash bottletophornets. The link is in the description and you can come over there. We do a lot of vault hunters on the stream. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys take care of yourself until the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh... Thank you.